I do know who you are, so shut, stop talking. I like the fact punchline for finally answering the question, whose ass do I have to kick to go on stage? Uh, so anyway, what's up, snowflakes? How you guys doing? Out there? Yeah. Here we are, ass deep into season three of Celebrity Apprentice, the presidency. And I'm afraid if he does really good in sweeps weeks, he's gonna get renewed for four more seasons. And quite frankly, I blame all you goddamn millennials for this situation that we're in. I do. Let me Jen explain myself. I mean, what does it take to get you guys to vote? I mean, is the I voted sticker not enough of a participation trophy? You guys to get up off your app long enough to vote? I mean, is it our fault we didn't spend enough time convincing you that voting was like artisanal, handcrafted revolution? <laughs> and now we've swiped all the way right. <laughs> I'm trying to speak your language here. Meet me halfway. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have known we couldn't rely on you guys for shit. You're all definitely allergic to peanut butter and bread, for God's sake. <laughs> You're just so delusional with your stupid diets, man. I can't stand it. You're fucking paleo bullshit. Man, I'm paleo. How come I'm not losing weight? I'm so pale. You're not fucking paleo, that's why. You know what is paleo? Shivering. <laughs> Shivering. It works your core. It gets those hard-to-reach muscles. That's why they were so ripped back then. They were shivering all the time. <laughs> You got your stupid kombucha? Ugh. Someone took turnt wine and skunk beer and mixed them together. But now that I'm drinking it, I realize it's the slurry they use for fracking. It's causing major climate change in my microbiomes. And I am producing methane. It's a science joke. So I got off of that shit and I started eating kimchi instead. Yeah, now that I'm eating kimchi, I gotta say, what the fuck is wrong with Koreans? How do you make cabbage worse? When I eat that stuff, it makes me Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il. It's just pathetic, you guys. And your stupid big for nothing workouts, your CrossFit bullshit. Give me a break. What do you need CrossFit for? So you can code? <laughs> we had this thing that took the place of CrossFit when I was growing up. They were called chores. They had chores back then. Yeah, CrossFit, man. CrossFit. The only reason you do CrossFit is to just do more CrossFit. That's cocaine. <laughs> cocaine went to rehab and came back as a fitness routine. So that's why you have CrossFit today. <laughs> Speaking of delusional, CrossFit did a movie about themselves. They called themselves the fittest people on earth. But honestly, how do you call yourself the best at anything if you're not competing against any black or brown people? <laughs> More like burning CrossFit. <laughs> yes. Somebody was once, aren't you afraid someone from CrossFit's gonna hear your set and like kick your ass after you're done? 
I'm like, fuck no, man. I will slap the water bottle out of their hands. <laughs> and they'll get all dehydrated and fold like a cheap suit. <laughs> Plus, you guys got this nerfed out life, fucking concussions and mini concussions and micro concussions. They didn't have concussions when I was growing up. They were called getting your bell rung. And it was good for you. It built character. Which is why I got all this character out of it. A lifetime of mini, micro, and major concussions. Yeah, you guys are just too soft with too much, man. You're too soft with weed. Fucking 420, so played out. I mean, do we need a fucking weed holiday in this city? You can already vape in the library. <laughs> you got a shatter dab club. Who here remembers 1987? Yeah. The year America ran out of weed. Back then there was weed or no weed. That was it. We used to be homo sapiens, looking each other in the eye as we passed the joint around, right? We used to take the roaches and hoard them till Sunday because they were special. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of homo sativas and homo indicas, all sucking down on your individual vape pen, all cartridge, cartridge, cartridge. No wonder you're the school shooting generation for five years. Yeah, burn! You're just too soft with weed, man. All right, good luck in the future, guys.